gaining a competitive advantage and uh, training more efficiently, training more explosively. Kyle Bodie is with Driveline Baseball, a uh, pitching performance facility. It's also called a data-centric data 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 approach to training, and he joins us now. And so in the beginning, Driveline Baseball's research arm was just me uh, in a shack in North Seattle. And researchers like Dr. Coop Duren had laid a great foundation, um, but there was a real stagnation of research uh, in the late 2000s when Driveline really started to start. So looking back over the years, uh, the last decade that you know, I've been doing this, the early key principles uh, around research, when we just decided we were going to write everything down, has served us really well. I, I don't think I really truly understood how valuable that was going to be, you know, seven, eight years down the line. What made me really approach it the way that I did was I felt that there was a real lack of data-driven analysis on good baseball athletes in the medical literature that was currently out there. Hello YouTube, welcome to another edition of the Tour of the Driveline Baseball Facility. Uh, when it's stripped down to the core, the reason and the fire that keeps me going on research and development uh, is the fact that we have such a great group of athletes from the college to the pro. We just feel like we have to contribute some of that data back into the open source community, into the research journals and open access. It's just really important to me that people understand that they stand on the shoulders of giants and we need to you know, contribute back to the industry.